a minister of sports must inspire confidence. A minister of sports must look like a sports person. He doesn't do sports, he doesn't do art, he doesn't do culture. He's only involved in functional politics of the ANC. They've neglected this department. There is no longer department yet. So we're calling upon Ranko, or please give us an energetic minister of sports. We are here to fight for all those workers in the stadiums. And we want reassurance from Natim Tetwa, from Safa, from PSL, that not a single worker in those stadiums will lose a job because they were not reckless. It was Ramaphosa's government which handled COVID badly. Open our country, do away with the mask, open our economy, we will take responsibility for our own lives. All of us, we are encouraged to vaccinate. No one is going to force anyone to vaccinate. We must vaccinate on our own. Even at the stadiums, we don't require anyone who's vaccinated or not vaccinated. Let those who want to go to the stadium, go to the stadium. As a department, we believe that uh, it was just really a mere opportunistic act because everybody knows that the government have since October working on a plan to open up the return for spectators. And uh, that has been communicated with sports bodies. Uh, all of them are fully aware that the uh, Minister Mteto had engaged with the sport bodies and we outlined the plan. And uh, to an extent that in fact that plan was having a phased in approach that was explaining that uh, when COVID-19 is at this level, we will move to 2000, which we are at now. And then after that, as the behavior of the virus and as the scientists and epidemiologists advise through Department of Health, we will then move to 20%, 50%. And we should, in fact, by now have been at that level had it been not been for Omicron. So there is a very clear plan, but government can't be reckless. We have to make sure lives of spectators or any other citizen is put first and then we introduce these uh, relaxed measures properly.